the world is not random. The world is moving in the direction it is because it's been planned to do that. These entities operate in the unseen, overwhelmingly in the unseen. They want to control the information that people receive. One of the greatest forms of my control, repetition, repetition, repetition. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 If you want people to have a certain perception of a world event, the world in general, of who we are and the nature of reality, then control what people receive and then control their perception. Once they've got your perceptions, they've got you. Silicon Valley is becoming the center of global control. This global conspiracy that I'm, I've been exposing for three decades is basically the hijacking of human perception. Because if there's a few of you, and compared with the target population of what 7.5 billion, something like that now, um, the number of people in full knowledge of what they're doing is tiny. Hundreds, thousands. Thousands maximum. At the core, hundreds at the core. At the core of the core, even less. And the rest of the, the structure is fiercely compartmentalized, so people are daily different parts of this global web structure playing a part in pushing the world in the direction I'm talking about to this centralized world dictatorship without realizing that's what they're doing. It's a tiny, tiny number. What you need to do is control the perceptions of the population because perception is everything. Perception dictates what you believe what you don't believe, what you'll challenge, what you won't challenge, what you'll accept, you won't accept, support everything. Once they've got your perceptions, they've got you, and they've got your life, and they've got the collective perception, they have humanity. This is why they want to control the information that people receive, and to uh, marginalize alternative ways of looking at the world, because where do perceptions come from? They come from information received. It might be a personal experience, information, or it might be the 10 o'clock news. But with most people, it's going to be the 10 o'clock news, but um, it's information. So if you want people to have a certain perception of a world event, the world in general, of who we are and the nature of reality, then control what people receive and then you'll control their perception. So when I look at the world, I see vast numbers of people who are perceptually programmed. And when I, you know, like I break it down in the, in the book, um, when you look at a human life, uh, it's basically a perceptual programming and download from cradle to grave. You know, you, you come out of the womb and immediately you're influenced by your parents in terms of your perceptions. And they're not being malevolent most of the time anyway, the vast majority, but they've been through the system you're about to go through, the process you're about to go through, they bought it, accepted it as normal, accepted the crazy place to be sane, and therefore, out of wanting to do right for you, they'll pass those perceptions on to you. If you want to give your mind away to someone else's perceptual program, fine. The problem comes when those people think that they can then dictate, ridicule, intimidate those that have a different view. Because that's psychological fascism for me. Up to this point, they have manipulated human perception by manipulating the information people receive. The plan is to go beyond that where they are the perception. And what I'm talking about, of course, is um, artificial intelligence, which brings us back to the devil's playground, Silicon Valley because that is increasingly the center. In the shadows is where it's coming from, but in terms of the world that you can see, Silicon Valley is becoming the center of global control. Not only is it driving, pe people will be shocked to see how deep Google, oh, it's just a search engine, and Facebook, oh, it's just a social media platform, to see how deep they are in the 
transhumanist agenda of connecting the human brain to artificial intelligence so that artificial intelligence becomes the human mind.